Welcome to Hostcard.co.za. My name is Jacques, and in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to access the WebDisk function from your Windows XP machine to the actual server where your domain is located. Now, if, I assume you've already logged into your control panel, and we can scroll down to the WebDisk function. It's located under Files, WebDisk. Please select a web disk and it will open up the screen where we can configure new users. This function will just allow us to, to actually add a user to give him access to a specific folder within this domain name. Right, so let's just add a user called test. If you don't want to add a user, then you can make use of your default cPanel username and password which will have access to, to the whole directory structure. But for this tutorial I'm going to show you a different scenario where you can give somebody else access, your web developer or, or for whatever reason just to to, to access the, the web dysfunction to, to the server within a specific folder the directory that we'd like this user to get access to is basically in the root and in the folder called test right so we're just going to give it a password called test and just repeat test and we're going to create a user right if you've already created the user you can go back and you will see the user was successfully created over here the first thing that you need to know is to configure WebDisk to run successfully from your XP machine, there's a couple of things you need to take note of. The first thing is the Windows Firewall. We just have to open up two ports on, on the Windows Firewall to enable the connection to actually go through. The first port is port 2077, which is the non-SSL port, which will enable you to connect and actually transfer files to, to your server. The next port is 2078, which is your SSL secure port and we should also open up that port to, to connect successfully. The other thing that might prevent you to connect is your, your router. Now if your computer isn't directly connected to the internet and is running through a router, you also have to configure router so that packets coming in on port 2077 and port 2078 are forwarded to the local IP address of your computer. Well, that's a mouthful and most of the cases you don't really need to do that. You really don't have to connect to your router. I can assure you I've, I've worked and, and set up lots of, of web disk functions on different uh, machines and, and I only had to do that twice. So, and the last thing that you need to note is that your internet security or your antivirus software Sometimes, like in this scenario, we're using Bitdefender on this specific machine, and it's also got its own firewall. So we're just going to show you how to just disable the firewall, just to connect to to the web server for now. There's other ways to configure these software packages or these antivirus packages, but we're not going to cover that because there's so many packages out there. So again, for this tutorial. But Defender is installed on this machine and, and we, we're just going to use that and show you how, how it's done. Right, let's let's go over to, to the first thing which is the Windows Firewall. You're going to click on Start Control Panel and you're going to go over to, to your Windows Firewall. Right, and you will click on Exceptions and we'll scroll down. I've already created these so I'm just going to delete them for now and we're going to start over. Right, in this section over here is just programs and services that's already installed on your machine so don't take note of them. Alright, so we're just going to add the, these ports that I've mentioned previously. I'm going to add a port and we're going to give it a name WebDisk. The first port you'd like to add is port 2077. This is a non-secure port. It's using TCP to connect. So click on OK and you will see we've successfully added the first port. The next port would be SSL WebDisk. You can call it anything really and that port is 2078. Also using TCP and you click on OK. 
that's about it for the Windows firewall. You click on OK and that will save the settings. You can go ahead, close control panel and that is the first thing you need to know is to open up two ports on your Windows firewall. Right, the next thing we need to do is just to show you where to where, where it's actually going to create the, the connection. Once you click on start and my network places you will see that the connection isn't set up as of yet but it will be located in my network places so I'm just going to close it down take note of it I'm, I'm just going to show you in a later stage that it's actually going to create a connection there right close that and we can actually go ahead and, and access the web disk function right in this tutorial we said we're going to use Windows XP and this is what's on this machine it will bring up a pop-up screen which enables us to, to save a VBS file to, to our computer. I'm just going to save it to the desktop. Right, once that's saved, we can we can go to the desktop. And there's our file. And now we're just going to double click on that file. It will bring up a SSL certificate. Please take note of this. I always install the certificate on my specific machine. I go and click on view certificate most people click on yes to proceed but first of all please take note I click on view certificate install certificate click next automatic select the certificate to store based on the type of certificate I'll just leave it on that and say next and finish we'll say the input was successful and just go ahead, click OK OK and then you can proceed by clicking on yes Right, it will ask us for a username and, and password to be entered and remember for the user that, that we would like to get access to the server we've created that specific test user we can go back here if we don't remember it was test at gdiapers.0.za you can just go ahead and copy that user there and we made use of the password test so we can just go back and we can paste the user in there dot co dot za was it dot zero zero let's just make double sure yes dot zero zero and the uh, password was test just type it again test and i just click on remember my password click on ok it will probably give us an error now because we still got Bitdefender and it's just going to prevent us to, to actually connect to our web disk or our service server folder which is called test in this in this case right we wait for this error to appear it's gonna bring up documents in the folder are not available the folder may have been moved or deleted or the network or network problems may be preventing you to connect to the server just click on ok close these screens and like i said the other scenario could be that your antivirus or internet security is actually blocking that connection to to actually connect to the server i'm just going to click on on my bit defender settings and for this I'm just going to deselect these two, anti-phishing and firewall. I've got a password on, on this Bitdefender account. Let's click on OK. And it will actually create a shortcut to that for us. And just to show you that where it created this, because this is only the shortcut, I'm going to show you where it actually created this My Network Places. Remember I told you we're going to come back here and you will see that it actually created over in My Network Places. You can close down that and just double click on, on the secure web disk. I'm just going to run through the install certificate again just to make sure. Click OK, there's proceed and it will ask us to use the impasse, which is click on OK and it actually opened up that specific folder called test right so let's minimize the screen and we can start like by copying a text document to, to that specific folder right it successfully copied a, f a 
a text document to that specific folder which is the test folder and we can just confirm that by actually going to our cPanel and we can click on home and we can go to file manager and double click on test and you will see we've successfully uploaded from our desktop a text document called testdoc.txt to that specific folder by using the user called test at gdiapers.co.za well this cover the this tutorial by connecting your web disk from a Windows XP machine. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. My name is Jacques. We'll be bringing out more tutorials soon and watch the space. Thank you for watching. Bye.